aboard the limb. Well, now it's Our three minutes Eagle. and 20 seconds for liftoff. We'll go and listen 12. to mission control because some exciting things Our are now happening. Guidance. We'll continue to monitor now at three minutes, 12 seconds away from ignition as Crew of Eagle goes through their pre-launch checklist. Two minutes, 50 seconds to lift off. The clock is ticking back as we see it here. And it's now coming up now to two and a half minutes. Two twenty-three. Two minutes, 15 seconds to lift off. Nothing much seems to be happening over the circuit. Coming up on two minutes. Two minutes Mark now. Two minus, t minus two minutes. That's your guidance steering in the axe. Coming up now to one and three quarter minutes now to lift off. Now we're not getting television pictures, so presumably this moon camera isn't switched on. A uh, very simple explanation thinking about that. The, the astronauts did not deploy the portable antenna, which was a part of the mission payload last night. Consequently, they will not have a wideband communications back to Earth after the ascent stage lifts off the moon because the wideband antenna goes with the astronauts. So we just won't in fact see pictures of Unfortunately the... no, not on this mission. If the portable antenna had been deployed then we might even have seen the hey, lift off from the moon and this could well happen on the next mission. Well we're now less than one minute from lift off, in fact 54 seconds now. Coming up to 45 seconds to lift off. The scene of great activity over in Houston, um, Mission Control. We're watching it on the television screen here. And great tension. Right? Guidance reports both navigation systems on Eagle are looking good. So Let's all sounds back. well. And on the countdown, 20 seconds to lift off. 15, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Casual can you get? A very high. Thousand feet high, eighty feet uh, per second vertical rise. Now remember, they go up two hundred and fifty feet and then tip over. Request manual start override. Twenty-six hundred feet altitude. Not very much 
Roger, mighty fine. Seven hundred, one fifty up, beautiful. Nine thousand. The ag degrees are uh, within a foot per second. Can you identify that speaker, Eric? Is that Neil Armstrong? Yes. Eagle Houston, uh, you're looking good at two. Ping, Zag, and Miss Ben all agree. Good afternoon. 170 up, beautiful. 14 times. Well, it looks as though this is another Seven part of the mission. Again, Ag, to Ping. It's working perfectly. Seems to be that way. They're, they are on the primary guidance system at the moment. Now, is this an automatic procedure from now on, or are they actually controlling the movements? No, they have exactly the same options that they had during the descent, in that they have a prim it looks like it's all good. primary guidance Roger, system, backup guidance system, and manual options. Aldrin is reading the horizontal velocity first, and then the vertical velocity. It's now 1,424 feet per second vertical uh, velocity, 187 vertical velocity. You go, Houston, uh, your go at three minutes. Everything's looking good. Andrew? So they're now flying at... Uh, an actual speed, an air speed of a thousand miles an hour. Going up to about 136. Mm -hmm. Coming up to this is a start max now. Now from now on, pretty well everything's been done before, hasn't it? Yes, it has indeed. They're, they're now at the point where they are duplicating the mission which was performed by Apollo 10 to prove out the mission, uh, if you like, up to this point above the lunar surface. Now approaching 32,000 feet. Well, they're now about the height of an airliner. I didn't hear the altitude. What, uh, Eagle Houston, uh, four minutes, you're going right down the track. Everything's great. 32,000 feet. Yes, they are indeed already at the altitude of jet aircraft. Horizontal velocity approaching 2,500 feet per second. Got the beam off to our right now. These things really climb Roger. like homesick angels, don't they? Uh, yes. <laughs> Some 120 miles to go until insertion. <coughs> you any idea how long it'll take at 120 miles? Um, I don't have the exact timeline on this. It is about approximately a quarter of an orbital period, I think, about 30 minutes of um, Columbia orbit. If you could just pass me the timeline, Arthur, thank you. The total time of the ascent burn is 7 minutes 14 seconds. In there it is, right there. There's that. Yes, it is what is known as a, a boost coast approach. In other words, they boost, turn oh, over. To All their the data sources are agreeing orbit. quite closely here. The three color plot board on the front of mission control here is almost uh, superimposed as the, each of the three colors are scribed on the scribing plotter. That means they're spot on, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. And here again, we realize the remarkable precision of this whole oh, mission. Well, Eric's busy looking through these masses of bits of paper we've got here to try and give all the figures. It looks as if orbit insertion should take place just about 
uh, at the end of that burn, in fact. One minute to go in the burn. And then yes, that, that is correct. 482 feet per second, horizontal velocity. At the end of this... Are you ready to go? At the end of this burn, which is the insertion burn, at the, ascent, the ascent stage will actually be back in lunar orbit. And this is an elliptical orbit, 10 miles by... An elliptical orbit, 10 miles by 50 miles. Yes. Ascent stage pressure's holding good, cross speed off. 850 to go. When they get into orbit, they should be 190 miles west of the landing site. Mm-hmm. Feeding it back to Houston, who are giving them back instructions. Paraloon of 9.1 nautical miles, Apaloon 47.2 nautical miles on the pings. All three systems are go. Well, they're all right on one figure and Cut not up enough on the other. Showing about 55, 37 feet per second, uh, plus or minus a foot or so on, the, on each of the three systems. That's about 3,000 miles an hour. Here you go, Houston. Tram looks good. And that's spot on, exactly as it should be. Dags have 9.5. 46.6. These figures, by the way, are given in nautical miles. If you want them into. Eagle Houston, uh, request support stage reset. Uh, you stop the reset. Flow control that holds and get a chance to. If you like to do some mental arithmetic, you multiply by 1.15 to get them into statute miles, which is what we're doing for you. These odd noises off, Eric, what are they? This is um, communications breakup, and it, it's probably caused by pickup on their microphones, on their um, uh, face microphones. They're quite busy at this stage, of course, turning off switches, checking out um, various measurements, particularly pressure measurements. They will shortly be venting um, some of the um, re residual fuel and oxidizer. So this is a busy time. Describing plotters showing the velocity and height. Here we go again. Let's proceed with uh, P-52 uh, as phenomenal. All right, No, that is in fact communication breakup.
I suppose by now, pretty well nothing will go wrong, can it? Well, one can never say that until they, they are docked and back in the command module, but I think it is fair to say that the ascent phase has been absolutely perfect. They have so much capability open to them now between the Columbia and the lunar module. Since they are in the same orbital plane, they are both free to move around on much more easily than the astronauts were able to move around the lunar surface, certainly. They have done, performed this particular operation many times on, on other missions, so I think one can feel quietly confident. Now, in fact, they've got to do four... These grabbing plotters have been replaced with the lunar orbit tracking chart showing uh, Eagle behind Spider some 20 degrees in longitude. Now, in fact, they've got to do... Flight operations director Chris Kraft commented that he felt like some 500 million people around the world were helping push Eagle off the moon and back into orbit. We're continuing to monitor transmissions between the ground and Eagle and Columbia. Apollo Control standing by. Well, there are four of us here pushing hard. Very hard. <laughs> 